So I'm here with the two organizers, Paul and Lamanda. Um, and they're the ones that created the school project right here. So I'm just gonna ask these guys some questions about it, um, just so you know a bit more. So um, like tell, tell the viewers, like why are you doing this project? Why is it so, like, what is the purpose of it? Well, um, this project started actually already like uh, almost one year ago. Me and my uh, girlfriend, we have a land here in uh, Vieng Samai. So we got involved in the community and uh, after a while we were thinking, hey, we really should step up to do something good for the school. So uh, we start talking with people more and more. And yeah, finally we have the result. I met La and a few other people and everybody was step up and yeah now it's ongoing so pretty happy with that uh, fantastic and what is what is the goal what's the big goal of uh, this project the goal is uh, to create uh, more creativity for the kids and uh, a better environment in, in terms of they can um, how you say learn more and uh, in, a, in a different way like they always did uh, they have the traditional learning method here so you get basic Lao you get some history classes I guess and um, maybe some math but that's it there is no creativity so we start with the library now uh, we will decorate the whole library and um, we will bring in some uh, desktop computers and later on our project will be like go every two weeks here yeah. and we do acting classes, dance classes, reading, you name it. So would it just be this school or are you going to plan to do other ones as well? Uh, we, we're going to, uh, more, to do more, more schools but it depends on the funding so yeah. everybody who wants to fund Go to blacksheep.com right, and you will find something. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, what's uh, Lamanda's role? What, what are you doing in this project? Oh, yes. Um, this project is beautiful because not just some family we help, uh, but we try to bring a lot of people that love to help. So it means we try to make a better community, like helper community, and we try to engage people, share the news, share the opportunity to the people that uh, don't have time and they cannot come, so they can also help just by donate financially or their own material that they use to for the kid, for example, the second hand book and also for the toy, you know, anything that they, they, they don't use already, it can be very useful for the, all the kids here. So they're going to be happy at home and we are going to be the middle person who is going to uh, bring the help to the school. So that's, that's our idea, to see more people engage, to help more and to show the people that it's not so difficult to help, right? That's, that's yeah. also one thing. Yeah, because Every... like you can start with small things yes so because people are like oh i want to help but many people are like how when and like uh, who we're we gonna go and you know like so we just like try to help them with all so that so really just trying to give people a, a way to see how they can start so they, they see ah oh, you can start small yeah. and then you can go from there right sure you can, you can see like one two three and then you're gonna see it's so magic right it's been pushing more people that, and you can know more people that want to help you know, like, you don't know when you just shut up your mouth, but when you just speak out and you're gonna see like so many people that also like have the same heart, same feeling, and that's, that's where the magic starts. <laughs> so would you guys like to add anything else uh, that you'd like to tell people about or anything about the project? Uh, that would be very, very important for them to know about it. Well, one of the things uh, that we also step up in this village is relatively small. And as everyone knows, in Laos there is like a big plastic pollution problem. And I think this little school can be a perfect opportunity to get the community get involved with cleaning the village. So our ultimate goal would be like, okay, we do the program, we create knowledge about environment, we create creativity, we bring joy, and I hope we can end up with uh, a beautiful small village 
where it's no plastic anymore. Right, fantastic. So fantastic. that's one of our goals. And I have to mention one more thing. Like it's not only two of us because also my my girlfriend she's really uh, she gave this whole project as well a big push forward. So I want to speak out to her like my big thanks for everything you do for us and for the community. Okay. Yeah, and also like um, what I would like to tell the people that um, you know like helping is just easy and. It's good for the helper, it's good for the person who needs help, it's just good for everyone. You know, you don't need to uh, sacrifice a lot of things. Just try to make time, just try to, um, you know, like share, you can share with your friends. And it's just easy things already can be a big uh, change, can be a big step to uh, start to make a better community. You know, everything can start from easy. So helping is easy, it's not difficult. <laughs> and where's where where can they find you? you said blacksheep.com where else you have a facebook page or anything or um I think yeah i have also my no uh sharing kind of community uh, that you can follow on facebook all right because we also like i'm also try to post uh, the good idea of actually there all the time all right, so right. black sheep and also sharing kind of community all right, fantastic <laughs> and i will share both of them in the link below Thank you. Kofchai, thank you Kofchai, so much. Hope to see you. Bye. <laughs>